What is up, guys? Flood 914 here. Uh, in the last episode, we had the uh, finale of Pokemon Trading Card Game where we defeated the game. Um, but yeah, there is a. Uh, uh, this is gonna be a bonus episode. There is a. Uh, I'm gonna check and see if Ishikara wants to trade. Yeah, there is uh, one thing that I, for I forgot to show at the end of last episode. And uh, just making sure a challenge haul or nothing's going on, or a trade. Uh, but yeah, remember the uh, password machine in uh, Mason's laboratory? Yeah, I forgot to show this off, so I went ahead and made a deck here. It is, uh, I called it the Searing Sacred Flames deck. So uh, we got two of the legendary cards that we want in here, uh, Moltres and Dragonite. So how does this work? Uh, I figured I'd uh, just go ahead and do a full episode to show you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. It's the challenge machine created by Dr. Mason. So here's the way it works. Uh, it'll show your score up there up top. Uh, defeated five opponents, zero times. Present consecutive wins, zero. Max maximum consecutive wins, one by Dr. Mason. So the way the challenge machine works is, uh, yeah, basically uh, five random opponents will be chosen for you. And as you see, the fifth is uh, Rod, one of the Grandmasters. We also got a Clubmaster, Nikki, the Grass Club. And, uh, and then we got two random Fire Club members and a Rock uh, Fighting Club member, uh, Andrew. So yeah, basically the way it works is uh, uh, you fight all the enemies in a row, and uh, you basically try to go for a consecutive win bonus. So that's the way the uh, challenge machine works. So just try to get as many wins as you got, and uh, yeah, that, that's it's it's really more of a self challenge. Um, now, does anything happen if you get five consecutive wins? Hmm. I guess I can show what happens, uh, or try to in this episode, but, uh, yeah, next few episodes are gonna be, you know, bonus episodes, really. Just, uh, you know, because I, I figured I might as well at least show off the challenge machine for you guys. Um, but yeah, so, anyway, let's do it. Plus power. Charmander, I know Charmander, I've got him in our deck. So don't try to go for any fake attacks, buddy. Go for the horn! <laughs> Remember when Pikachu did that to uh, Rhyhorn? That was stupid. That was stupid. Because <laughs> Rhyhorn's a ground type, man. Thunderbolt shouldn't work on it. <laughs> uh, oh, that's getting dangerous. Double colorless? Mmm. Alright, you got your scratch attack, buddy, but uh, next turn I'm gonna get my small gun on. And I've got a Charmander of my own, Super Potion. May use that next turn. Uh, this guy could actually kill me if he gets a plus power or a Charmeleon and a plus power. He could go for Slash and, uh, yeah. Okay, no plus power, we got lucky. But, like, I'm surprised he didn't use Ember there, because it's just like, yeah, your Charmander's gonna go down anyway, so why not? Oh, dude, this was his only Pokemon? Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, you won against one opponent. Oh, you gotta love the grammar in this game. Two opponent is Andrew. Oh, man, the grammar, you gotta love it. And, yeah, you can choose to decline, you know, if you wanna, uh, do that, but, uh, yeah. Oh, well, I guess we'll go with... Oh, and we got the legendary card. Good. I mean, that is kind of the point of this bonus episode, is basically I wanted to show off the legendary cards and how they work, you know, so... But I'm sure you guys have already seen how they work, or already know, you know, if you're already watching this, but, uh, I mean, we haven't used it on our side, man, so I figured that'd be cool. Right, horn. And this thing's probably gonna leer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't attack, but guess what? I've got the resistance, uh, Andrew, buddy. So, yeah, here we go. Legendary Moltres, baby. Let's show how it works. And, yeah, Fire Giver. So we randomly get one to four energies uh, from our deck to our hand. We got really unlucky and only got one there, but, uh, it's whatever. I'm gonna start pumping up, uh, Charmeleon. Yeah, looks like he's just got right horns, so... If his Leer fails, I'll put an energy on Dodoo and uh, use a 
security attack in the meantime. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, the strategy's coming together, guys. Okay. Yeah, I also put this in my deck, uh, much like the Grandmasters did, scoop ups, because you can just return your legendary card back to your hand, throw it back down, and use your Pokemon power again. Whether it be, you know, Quick Freeze, Fire Giver, uh, or Pillow of Thunder. So, yeah, if you're going with the legendary cards, except for Dragonite, I'd say, uh, Scoop Ups is a pretty smart choice. Uh, so, yeah, I'm glad, glad we got to show the combo, honestly. No guarantee we would draw, you know, any of those, so it all works out. It all works out, so. We'll just roll with Doduo here for now. Because uh, it does resist all of Rhyhorn's attacks, so... Uh, let's evolve Charmeleon to avoid any, you know, gust of wind nonsense. And, uh, yeah. We'll just keep, uh... Basically, I'm gonna soften this guy up, you know, until he's, uh, within, like, one flamethrower of getting KO'd. And then we'll get Charmeleon in here. Actually, I should just show you guys this. As far as Leer goes, yeah, benching or evolving either Pokemon ends this effect. So what that means is if I do switch out to Charmeleon, like I am going to do right now, you can attack. So that's one way to play around with the uh, the annoyance of Leer. Oh, I thought he put it on this one. I'm sure Rhyhorn can go for a uh, horn attack or something. Once it's got uh, three energy. Yeah. Oh, you just need, like, one fighting and a double colors. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Um, I'll give Charmeleon another energy. And a slash. All right. And these, uh, yeah, these, uh, duels at the, uh, for the challenge machine, I think they're all four prize until you get to the, like, once you get to the club master, then it does start becoming, like, a six prize. Yeah, and then for the grand master, I'm pretty sure it's six prize, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but if I'm wrong, we'll, we'll see once I get there. Uh, now, yeah, keep in mind what I just said. If you retreat, you get rid of the, uh, the leer, so, yeah, I'll burn an energy to do 30 damage to you. Sounds good to me. Yeah, only calls this one uh, energy to retreat with Charmeleon, so I figure why not? Why not? Uh, defender, huh? Well, if you get heads, that defender won't even matter, buddy. Uh, yeah, there you go, there you go. I, I couldn't even attack you anyway, so you kind of just wasted your trainer card, buddy. I'm just saying, ooh. <laughs> ooh, baby. Oh, man, in the bonus episode, we get to show Charizard. Let's do it. Charizard's back, baby. All right, Charizard. Yeah, let's see you defender this. Charizard. Discard. Fire. Fire. And Charizard. Oh, Blitz all right. <laughs> Eight damage. Yeah, the defender wasn't enough. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I definitely didn't plan on showing, uh, you know, because there's no guarantee we would draw all these cards. Man, if we're drawing the double colorless too. Mm -mm -mm. All right, all right. And thanks to Energy Burn, all these double colorless do count as, uh, yeah, they count as uh, fire energy, so we can keep going with Charizard here. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do, Cubone? What are you going to do? Yeah. Snivel. <laughs> Reduce by 20? You're gonna need to reduce it by a lot more than that, buddy. I've got Charizard, baby. Alright, let's do it, guys. Ah, yeah, yeah. And that's, uh, I also put this Dragonite with Step In, as well as the, uh, the other Dragonite with Healing Wind in my deck. But, uh, yeah, we don't need it for this duel. Alright. Charizard! Oh, but it's a rate! Boom! 80 damage, baby. Alright. Yeah, you're no match for Charizard, Andrew. That was pretty cool. All right, and we won to get two opponents, so next is Jonathan of the Fire Club. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, and I'm not sure how far we can go here with the, uh, you know, the machine, but, 
Uh, oh, okay, good. We got another Pokemon. By the way, uh, the legendary cards don't work if you put them on your uh, active Pokemon or bench, like to start the duel. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, Dratini. Okay. okay. And we'll go with, uh, yeah. Go with Moltres, Fire Giver. Alright. I'm glad I got to show uh, Fire Giver off a couple times. That's good. Oh, we got three? Are we gonna get four? No, no. Three is good, though. Three is good. Alright, and we can knock out this Pony Taz in two hits, because we've got Ember. Alright. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I had planned for today. Like a time. Uh, so, ooh, nice double colorless, bruh. But, uh, I've got a double colorless of my own if I need it. I think I will knock this thing out, because it is doing 20 damage per hit, but, uh, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, sorry if you hear any, like, uh, loud noises, like popping noises, but I am recording this on, uh, 4th of July, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just a heads up, you know. So. Alright, we'll go with the Ember again, because why not? We can take it out in two turns, so... Unless he evolves it, which he might. Oh! Oh, no, you just went for the confusion. I'm kind of glad you didn't get that, buddy, because, uh... Yeah, confusion's pretty annoying. Ooh, scoop up. Okay, well, you guys know the strat, so I'll return Moltres and throw it back down. I guess I could have returned Charmander there to heal it, but, uh... I prefer to get the energies, you know what I mean? Alright, and plus, like, he wasted, effectively, two fires here on this Vulpix, so let's just take it the put the flam out. Ember! Hey, <laughs> hey. No, Drio. Nice. Alright. Ah, yeah, you can't attack me, buddy. You need two energy to attack. Uh, do we have no duel? No. Uh, let's go with Charmander. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep doing 30 damage in the meantime. Okay, so far these duels have been going pretty easily, but I have a feeling, like, you know, the Club Master and the, uh, the Cran Master duels, of course, may go very differently. Um, hmm. That lickitung has got a lot of HP, and we are close to Charmander being knocked out. So honestly, let's start pumping up some other Pokemon like Moltres. Yeah. We'll use Scratch in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think we've even seen Moltres uh, attacking this. Uh, oh. Ooh. Yeah, so check out this Dragonair. This is also in the deck. Yes, yeah, Slam 30 times. That's pretty good. And then Hyper Beam. Yeah, for four uh, colorless. That's 20. If the defending Pokemon has any energy attached to it, choose one of them and discard it. That, like, this Dragonair is probably, like, one of the best cards in the game, no lie. So, change of plans. We're going to pump up Dratini here. And, uh, yeah, we'll just knock out this wall fix for now. Bill. Cool. Yeah, I figured you'd get some energy for Link of Time. Uh, okay. Didn't paralyze me. So I could go for 30 on uh, Charmander if I really want to. Um, let's see what we get with Bill. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I think what we will do is double cuddle this on Dratini. gonna get two tails oh that's pretty unlucky that's pretty unlucky but you know of course you could get very lucky you get two heads and do uh 60 damage for just two energy so you know that's the, the way the coin goes and he got lucky though and paralyzed us unfortunate but we're gonna get hyper beam ready for when we eventually become unparalyzed uh i will throw this other routine down though because if we get dragonite uh, yeah. Yeah, we can Pokemon Breeder, so... Uh, we'll just skip for now. This guy 
guy stalling us out a little bit. But we did take the early game lead. I uh, put another energy on. Why would you do that? Oh, I guess it does have supersonic, but it's, uh... Yeah, yeah, you know. Alright. And let's show it for the first time in this LP, guys. Hyper Beam. Here we go. Yeah, and that. Choosing an energy. Oh, man, it looks cool. It looks cool. And yeah, second body of fire energy, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the only downside about Hyper Beam, I guess, is that it is, you know, kind of a lower-powered attack, but the, the upside is just, you know, so good. So, Super Potion, pretty good, pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, we'll just skip. Go ahead, John, go ahead. Let me get some other heads. Yeah, yeah, you fail, you fail. So, Dilemma Time, do we go for the heads on Slam, or do we go for the guaranteed damage with Hyper Beam? Uh, let's just put this on Moltres, and let's, let's gamble, let's go for the Slam. One heads, can we get a two? Ah, there we go. Bye bye, Lickton. One more hit, and you're down. <laughs> Plus that's good, because he would have paralyzed us uh, two turns in a row there, so... He's definitely made the right call. All right, all right. All right. Let's see here. Ah, oh, we got our own Lincoln Sun. Yeah, I mean, I do have a couple of scoop ups in the deck, so this card is just really good for stalling out. As you can see, you know, because uh, Jonathan's using it. Uh, I don't know. Let's just put this on Dratini for no particular reason. We'll skip. Yeah, once I'm done becoming paralyzed, that's it, John. Unless you draw a potion here. Mmm, no. Okay. Yeah, looks like your luck has ended. <laughs> Alright. And no need to do anything. We just win. So, hyper beam. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. And Charmillion was over in the prize file. But, doesn't matter. Alright, so we've gone against, we've won against three. Honestly, I mean, and you know, you could get really unlucky, and like, you know how I'm going with the fire deck? You could just get like three water duelists, so. <laughs> I wasn't really sure how long this bonus episode was gonna be, but uh, I guess we can go for, you know, five wins. Uh, four opponent is Nikki. Yeah, let's do it. We've got the advantage on her, so. I mean, theoretically, we should win, but uh, I've got a bunch of colorless Pokemon in here as well. Yeah, as you can see, Dragonite, uh, Dragonair, yeah, so. I am glad we got to show Dragonair, though, and Moltres, and Charizard. Pretty good bonus episode, honestly. Oh man, I can't draw a basic Pokemon to save my life. Hopefully we get Magmar, though, that's best case scenario. Dratini, Charmander, okay, Charmander's cool. All right, so let's throw these two down. Yes, okay, so the club and uh, Grandmaster Duels are six prizes, so there you go. And we go first, what you got? Balbasaur. Ah, yeah, Leech Seed, huh? Well, how about I throw my fire down and I start scratching you for double damage? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about that, Nikki? Whatish, whatish? Ah, potion, eh? Well. She, she, she's already given up on this Bulbasaur. She knows. She knows. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to Ember it either because, uh, yeah, we can just take it out with two scratches and save our fire energy. So, yeah, I'll save inner, uh, Ember for when uh, Execute or Oddish come up in here. So, yeah. Uh, double Colas. I guess I might as well put this on. No, let's just put a fire on Charmander. And we'll scratch. So, we've got the early game lead, and our deck's got the advantage, so, ah, Charmeleon, very good, very good, so, very good. Stun score, huh? Well, that don't matter, son, because, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys know, when you evolve, you heal all status conditions, so, Charmeleon. Alright, and we'll go with the uh, Slash. Double damage. Bye bye, Oddish. <laughs> Computer search. Oh man, we can get Charizard out here again. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we wake up from this. Uh, we did. 
did not. out. Come Boom! 200 damage. Nice. Alright, click a ton. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's not even gonna put any energy on the side of <laughs> Uh, that's good. That's good. Alright. Wow, we get to show Charizard in back-to-back -back duels. That's pretty cool. Put another fire on him, and... Fire spin! Another double colorless, man. Pretty good draws here. Leaf Seed, yeah, yeah. She really stood no chance once we got Charmeleon up in here. But let's put another fire on and another fire spin, baby. I think this is our last Pokemon, so uh, let's see here. Uh, yep, this is her last Pokemon, so. Now, uh, I do remember in the uh, Clubmaster battle, you know, Rod does have some uh, uh, bulky water Pokemon like Lapras, so we may actually be at a disadvantage here, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. If we lose, no big deal. You know, it's a bonus episode, so. Uh, Dratini, hmm. It's kind of a rough start, but we do have Computer Search, so we may be okay if Dragonair's in the deck. So let's see what you got, Rod. Dratini of your own. There's Lapras. Okay. It's actually a good thing in that case that I started with our Dratini. Um, Charmeleon. Okay, I can computer search for Charmander, but I think that's a bad idea because he's pumping up Lapras right now. So let's just put this on and go for Pound. Okay. All right. And you know what? I've got Pokemon Breeder. Hmm. Maybe I should search for Dragonite. Hmm, instead of, uh. Yeah, instead of this one. Hmm. Dragonair or Dragonite? Good question, Josh. Good one. Um, let's. And I've got two double colas here, yeah. Hmm. Let's see what's in the deck. Let's computer search. I will discard Charmeleon. And, uh. In the deck. So we've got this Dragonite with Slam. Um, and, well, we have both. Hmm. Let's go with this one, actually. The one that has more HP. And, uh, yeah, I'll Pokemon Breeder right now, just because I don't want anything crazy to happen. And I'll double colorless, and I'll put the other double colorless on next turn, and we'll start using Slam. Sounds like a plan. Sounds good. Sounds good. Carp, carp, carp. Alright. <laughs> Pound, huh? Sounds like you need a Pokemon breeder of your own there, Rod. Uh... Alright. Double Colas. Professor Oak. Alright, yeah, I feel pretty safe with a Dragonite. Dragonite out here, even though he has, uh, you know, Lapras. So, Bill, good. I love this uh, Grandmaster music too. Very epic. Ooh, we got the combo. Do duo, do trio. Nice, nice. All right, so let's go for slam and yep. All we needed was one hit. Sweet. All right, 
Yeah, and that's why this Dragonite, you know, I think each is pretty good. You know, you can't really go wrong with Healing Wind, but this one can, you know, has the potential to do, you know, 80 damage for two energy if you're using double colas, and that's, yeah, that's pretty strong, honestly. So, all right, Retreat 8, very good. So let's uh, start, uh... Start pumping up the Drio here. We'll just go for Slam, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, we got, we got unlucky there with the coin, but it's okay. You know, Magikarp can only do 10 damage, so... We'll be alright. We'll be alright. So... Alright. Energy Retrieval. Very good. I could search for another Pokemon, but I haven't really drawn, like, uh... Uh... Like a Pokemon I'd want to... Wow, really? Four, four tails in a row. Well, you know, I kind of do deserve this bad luck, considering all the good luck we had against Rod <laughs> in the finale. So, you know what? You know, <laughs> Rod's probably happy now. So, uh, I could also search for a Super Potion, which is probably a good idea. Oh my god, are we gonna get six tails in a row? Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say that would be extremely unlucky, but uh, okay, we got our second prize here. Uh, is he gonna go for the confused right? He is. Okay, he got it too. Okay. I do have Switch in this deck as well, so uh, one thing I will try to do though is, you know, normally Dragonite has a one retreat cost, but because we have Dodrio, uh, yeah, we can actually attempt to retreat for free, um, thanks to Retreat Aid, so let's go with Dodrio. Oh, okay, so we failed. Uh, Confusion is kind of a problem. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I have Switch here, so, yeah, let's definitely heal the Confusion. Okay. And I don't know if he's packing plus powers or anything, but, uh, let's go to Computer Search. I'll toss Doduo and a Fire. I have a super potion in here, right? Yes. Good, 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 good. Normally I'd grab Moltres, but, uh, you know, uh, Dragonite does need some healing here. Then I can put an energy on Magmar. And Slam. If we get lucky, we'll KO Lapras. <laughs> My luck's turned around, Rod. <laughs> yeah, send your end Lapras in here, buddy. It's not gonna matter. What, huh? Oh, that was pretty lucky. Ah, Charmeleon. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, let's just finish pumping up Nodrio, and we'll keep going for Slam. Uh, two Tails? Ah, okay, you know, you know. Uh, it's, you know, that's okay, that's okay. I'm just happy we uh, one-shotted that other Lapras in one hit. That did, did save us some time, and uh, it helps me not to have to worry about confusion as well, so we'll just keep going for Slam. There's one. Oh, okay, okay. All right, but he is within one hit of being KO unless he's got a potion or something. So, uh, by the way, is this his last Pokemon? Uh, no, no, no. He's got he's got a couple more. So, uh, how many energy are in my discard pile? Okay, okay. let's use Retrieval. Discard your team. Grab two, and I'll pump up. Oh. I guess I should have kept your team. Uh, whatever. We'll just use Slam. I need one more hit. Ooh. Okay, so he's going to get another 10 damage on us. Not too bad. Charmander! Alright. I'm sure we'll knock it out this turn, though. Double colorless. That's it. Let's just go for Slam. Come on, Dragonite. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Love you, buddy. All right, we just need two prizes. Super Potion! That's a good prize to get right about now. Scratch. I mean, I guess that does put us within one ember of uh, being KO'd, but I drew a Super Potion rod. <laughs> yeah, think about all that damage your Lapras did to me. One heads and... Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, 80 damage. <laughs> Alright, and all we need is one hit to... Oh, okay. You know, that is a smart move there, Rod. I, I mean, if it was me, I would have switched out there, too. 
uh, to Kangas Khan, because it's got way more HP, but, uh, you know, eventually we'll take this thing out, you know. And even if we don't, I'm gonna start pumping up, uh, Charizard in the meantime, so you best be ready there, uh. <laughs> Alright. And let's evolve Charmeleon. Alright, but if we get two heads here, we win. And... Oh, okay. Close, though, Dragonite. Close. Alright. Uh-huh. Bitch. Alright. Well, with that being done, I think we'll let good old Charizard do the honors here. Charizard, baby. Man, I got to use him three times in this, uh, for the challenge machine. Honestly, that's pretty lucky, you know. I mean, you guys have seen how I played this deck over the course of the LP, and we've never been so lucky as to draw Charizard, except we did here. But, uh, yeah, so what happens? Yeah, once you win against five opponents, you kind of get this little jingle. And, uh, yeah. Flood successfully defeated five opponents one time. And so, yeah. Our con consecutive win record increases to five. And, yeah. Basically, nothing happens. That's really just, uh, you know, I guess just to challenge yourself, yourself or to show off to your friends. But it's kind of weird that you don't, like, get, like, uh... Yeah, you don't get any booster packs or anything for the challenge machine. It's really just to say, you know, hey, I did it, you know, so. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this bonus episode. I'm going to end this and go get some dinner. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys all next time. Uh, yeah, bye-bye.